Hey Casket here, what's going on? Welcome to the shop. Listen, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy during these uncertain times. Today, I wanna to show you an accessory. This right here. Uh, you've seen in my previous videos that I bought the Camp Chef Flat Top Grill, the FTG 600. This is an amazing unit. I've done a few things with it since I've had it over the last couple of weeks. I've burned nearly two tanks of propane having the fun, but I gotta tell you, I learned something about this unit. Uh, there is one issue that I have that I want everyone to know if you're interested in uh, picking this unit up. It's not a deal breaker by no means, but it's something you should know. And with that being said, after you purchase this, you have to get this unit right here. This is an, a, a very important accessory and I'm gonna show you why. So at one point when I was grilling, I reached down here to grab my oil and water bottles and I found out that they were melted. The tops were melted. This one was melted. I ended up clipping it so I could get some oil out of it. But this was, these tops of these were burnt, melted right down. Another issue, I ruined a really, really good bowl. It was sitting right here and the whole thing ended up melting right along this side right here. There's a lot of heat that is emitted from the sides of this, uh, from the side over here. So if you're using your mini tables that they give you, you're gonna have to keep anything that is heat sensitive like plastic utensils, uh, plastic utensils, things like that, you're gonna have to keep them over here along this edge, okay? So you gotta really watch that. So we can't do anything about the heat that's emitted from the side here onto that table. But what we can do is mitigate the melted plastic bottles. And that's where this accessory comes in. This is the uh, front bottle shelf and it's gonna mount right down here and it's gonna hold all your condiments and your bottles and salt and pepper and things like that. Also has a magnetic strip. You can also put your spatulas on there uh, while you're cooking. So, so let's do a quick unboxing and we'll see how this attaches to the front of the grill and, uh, and we'll see what it's all about. Okay, so this is from Backyard Life Gear. I'll put a link down below so that you can uh, find it. And let's take a look and see what is in the box here. Okay. Nice, nice looking shelf. Uh, so uh, right away I noticed there is a protective uh, film uh, on the stainless steel. This thing is heavy, okay? The shipping weight's about seven and a half pounds and there really wasn't much other than the box and this and a couple of pieces in here. Uh, so let's take that out. Here's some brackets. Here's a business card in here and it says it, uh, your purchase helps support a family run small business. So it's kind of a nice little touch. And on the back you can see they have some products listed for the Camp Chef flat top grill, the FTG 600. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. First off, okay, there's the magnetic strip that will end up mounting on the front right here. That'll allow you to hold your spatula. We also have some, uh, some hooks and I believe they slide in here like that. And they give you, uh, we got four of those, four of the hooks. Ah, that's a pretty good magnet. That's pretty, that's a pretty strong magnet. And then here we have the, the mounting brackets for the shelf itself and looks like an instruction booklet. So there we have it. The shelf, magnet, some hooks, mounting brackets, instruction booklet. So let's assemble this and mount it and we'll see what it's all about. Okay, so here are the mounting brackets. Actually, this is the left 
this is the right it's going to go right in between the stainless steel piece and the leg piece and if you come around and look you'll see there is a bolt right here and we're going to take that bolt out slide this in replace the bolt and we're going to do the same for the other side i see it will be easier if you remove the shelf Okay, let's remove the first bolt. This is a 10 millimeter and a Phillips screwdriver. And it probably wouldn't hurt to loosen the one next to it. I'm gonna loosen all three actually. Okay, so here is the, this is the for the left side. Okay. okay, I won't snug it down until we get the shelf on, but there is the first bracket. And so now we're going to come over and do the same for this side right here. Okay, so there is both brackets mounted as they should be. Okay, next, I'll tighten down the three fasteners on each side. Here, here, and here. Next step, install the magnet. Put some hooks in it. Okay, here we go. It's finally installed. It went on super easy. Literally took like 10 minutes uh, to do that. And we'll kind of get a close up here so you can see. There's the magnet for your spatulas. Got plenty of room, plenty of space for your uh, oil and water bottles and seasonings and salt and pepper. I have one complaint. And that is that the, the shelf, it's hanging on there, but it's kind of flimsy. There's a lot of play there. And I think what I'm going to have to do is put a spacer right back here. Almost a half an inch spacer, and that should hold it pretty steady. So I'm going to still have to, I'm still going to have to, uh, uh, add something to that. It's funny because I reading through all the reviews on this uh, accessory nobody's ever complained about the, the shelf the shelf being flimsy. Uh, the magnet is pretty strong but I, I pulled on that spatula pretty hard before it fell but all in all it's a great accessory I highly recommend it but there is gonna have to be a modification uh, that I'm gonna have to put back here But uh, one thing's for certain, I won't have melted uh, plastic bottles anymore because now I have a shelf to put them in. So there you have it, the accessory for the Camp Chef flat top grill, the FTG 600. Uh, we just unboxed and installed the front bottle shelf. Uh, it's a great accessory. It's very well made. The quality seems to be very, uh, very well. I, I do recommend it. However, there is going to have to be a modification uh, for the back of it to, uh, to make it a little more solid. Uh, that's just a little bit more movement and play that I would prefer. But I'll come up with something. We'll do a quick video and a quick modification. And uh, I would not let that stand in the way of you purchasing uh, that accessory. If this video was helpful for you, please hit the like button. Please look around at the other videos that I have. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell so you get notifications when I publish new videos. And uh, leave comments. Love to hear what you have to say. So thank you. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you next time.